Hey man, have you seen Rice Gum's channel lately? It's been losing a lot of subscribers. Rice Gum? Who's that? We did it. We did it, guys. Rice Gum is now irrelevant. Rice Gum irrelevant facts. Check the statistics. So I was on YouTube the other day and I was searching up for my favorite YouTuber, Rice Gum. And then I noticed that his channel was still at 10 million subscribers. So I thought to myself, hmm, wasn't Rice Gum at 10 million subscribers a month ago? And I was right. So I went to a social blade and I checked this out. Turns out Rice Gum has been losing subscribers per month. Now guys, before I actually get into this video, I'm sorry I haven't posted in a week. And again, I've been very busy with my schedule. I go to school, as you know, so I'm actually trying to work out my schedule. I'm not gonna be uploading as much and it might be a little bit inconsistent, but still, remember that I have a YouTube channel, don't forget about me. And also don't forget to smash that like button and just click subscribe so I could gain my channel to at least 1,000 subscribers by like the end of the year or maybe even next year. But anyways, let's get into this video. So rice gum, rice gum, rice gum, rice gum, rice gum, rice gum. The YouTuber that always makes fun of people for being irrelevant. The YouTuber that said he won't box Roti Shaw and pussied out of the fight because he said Roti Shaw and also Tenor Fox were irrelevant. Well, rice gum, I think you'll find it funny to know that you are very irrelevant right now. You are, in fact, losing subscribers. In fact, I've gained more subscribers in a month, and I have 700 subscribers. I've gained more subscribers in a month than you, which is kind of bad. So anyways, you know, I'm going to just look at Ricecom's channel and see what is up with his videos. And as you can see, Ricecom has been getting the same amount of views on his new videos as he has been on his old videos, just around probably 1.5 million on average per video. Lucky bastard. But anyways, I was shocked to see this. I was really shocked to see Rice Gum losing a lot of subscribers. But then it's not just really Rice Gum who is losing relevancy. I've also checked Luke and Paul and Jake Paul's social blades. And they also are not getting them any subscribers like Rice Gum. So basically, this is the end of a YouTube era. Yeah! The YouTube greats, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, and Ricegum, once getting millions of views on their stupid diss tracks, are now irrelevant. After the Logan Paul boxing match, Logan Paul and Jake Paul have really had nothing. And Ricegum also basically has had nothing for a long time. And here's why, and I just want to give a short brief before I really start roasting Ricegum. But Ricegum, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, the issue is that with these people, their whole careers are surrounded by being in beef, like getting into beef with other YouTubers, being in the spotlight. But the issue with that is that when that happens so often, and you know, you just transition to being a normal YouTuber for a little bit, that kind of screws up your whole YouTube algorithms because no one really gives a shit about you anymore. And it's really up to the content, content you make. Right, Scum? Honestly, like where do I even like start off with this? This content sucks ass when you really think about it. Like, and this is not just me ripping shit into rice gum. This is just me being honest. This content is kind of unoriginal. A lot of people have had these video ideas in the past. For instance, he makes this video of him playing music in quiet places to disturb people. Which, by the way, I do not think is a real prank. Seeing how a lot of actual pranksters, well not actual pranksters, but just fake YouTube cunts who make these videos, you know. Seeing how a lot of them make these shitty prank videos, you just wouldn't really expect it. And you know, Rice Gum's not known for making these fake prank videos. So, I mean, by doing that, he's very unoriginal. The only reason why he's actually getting a decent amount of views is because he has 10 million fucking subscribers. And even when he stole this concept, he still didn't get the most views out of everyone who's used this concept. He has other videos too, like boyfriend catches girlfriend cheating in public. How the fuck is he getting this many views for this video? I mean, I practically make the same exact videos. And look at me. I'm never going Black Friday shopping again. Oh, boo hoo. Uh, are you so sad because you can't spend money 
buying Gucci that you flex on people? Are you sad that you won't be able to get to show people that you don't know how to dress for a cheap price? No, but seriously, these videos always start off by him saying, Yo, wait, what's up guys? Yo, what is up everybody? How you guys doing? Man? But seriously, you can see where I'm coming from. Well, let's take a look back at one of his older videos on his channel. PewDiePie's irrelevant friend roasts me. Well, sir, I am no scientist, but I'm pretty sure if we look on Social Blade, PewDiePie's irrelevant friend seems to be getting more views and subscribers than you are. So... I mean, in your videos, you've called Roti Shaw and Tanner Fox irrelevant, and you said that's why you're not gonna fight with them. But, you know, I mean, if we check Social Blade, now, I mean, it seems like you're eligible to fight because, you're, you know, you're more irrelevant than they are right now. So, but hey, rice gum. I mean, you know, you know that stupid slogan you say, like, fuck with rice gum and then you're done or something like that? Well, guess what? I just screwed with you, so what are you going to do about it? Hmm? Absolutely goddamn nothing. That's what. Because you're a huge pussy, as I've said once, and I'm going to say it again. But hey, rice gum, I'm open to a fight. You know, me and you. In the year 2021, you know, you and I both fight, you know, we both get together, we both get into a box ring, and we just both fight, we don't even have to, like, broadcast it, you know, me kicking your ass and anything, I mean, I understand, you're a skinny little pussy, but, you know, Rice Gum, if you actually do manage to see this video, you know, just know that I'm gonna challenge you to a fight, and you could choose to accept or back out. But, you know, I'm disrespecting and dishonoring your name, just like in your culture. Okay, that was a little bit too far. But, guys, this has been a CGC episode. And if we get to 100 likes on this video, then I'll make a rice gum diss track. Also, please remember to subscribe to my channel, CGC YouTube, and watch more of my videos. And also remember to watch my older rice gum video. This has been CGC YouTube, and I'll see you for the next time.